today we're going to show you how to install and prime our XWS 3002 and PF 3001. Now please keep in mind the installation and priming process will be the same on the extended length versions, the XWS 3002 XL and PF 3001 XL. Let's start by taking the fuel filter nipple o-ring that comes with our PF 3001 and this is going to go on the suction side of the fast system beneath the T-block here. Take your PF3001 and you'll notice we included this handy little diagram here that will show you the proper location that each filter goes on the FAST system. Always make sure you put a very thin layer of grease around the fuel filter o-ring. This will make it a bit easier during your next fuel filter uh, service interval. We're going to install the PF3001 on the suction side of the FAST. Now let's take our XWS 3002, and again, the same on this one. We're going to put a thin layer of grease around the O-ring. Install it on our FAST system here. Now the XWS will be loosened back up during the priming process. But to start, you want to make sure you go ahead and get that snugged up. Okay, now that both filters are on and tight, we're ready to prime the FAST system. So in order to get the FAST to prime, uh, you're going to need to power the system on. Now on some models, you just turn the key to the run position and the FAST will continue to stay powered on. Uh, specific Dodge models, you'll have to bump the starter and that will allow the FAST system to power on. Okay, we're ready to prime. Both filters are tight. Go ahead and power our FAST system on and loosen our XWS. Okay, once you hear the tone change on the motor, go ahead and tighten your XWS and your FAST system will prime. You can see you're going to have fuel getting supplied up to the engine and all your excess fuel and air getting returned back to the fuel tank. If you have any questions at all regarding proper fuel filter selection or the priming process, please don't hesitate to give our technical service department a call. They'll be happy to help.